In this Debaco University video, we're going to be looking at root aphids. So while we may be familiar with aphids that typically are seen affecting the leaves and the stems, can't also forget about these root aphids, which can also negatively impact your cannabis plants. So here we're going to be looking at root aphids, something we might be more familiar with in the top growth of the, of the plant, but they also can affect the lower portions. So how do we identify and control them on our cannabis plants? Well, first off, the rice root aphid is what's going to be focused on. This is a dark green insect with generally round body form. So wingless stages develop on roots and they survive on plants. The wing stages periodically emerge from the soil and they fly to new places, new plants, and that's how they're able to spread their infection. They do have a wide host range, including indoor cannabis plants, even when grown hydroponically. So just don't think because you're not growing in a solid substrate, you don't have to worry about root aphids. Even hydroponic growers should be mindful of this threat. Root aphids, identification, and the plant damage. So uh, at 73 degrees Fahrenheit and optimum temperature, rice root aphids can, uh, populations can double every 1.6 days. So they can go very quickly. Here we can see what they look like uh, at the kind of wingless root aphids at the base of a plant. Here we see the winged uh, rice root aphids uh, trapped on a cannabis leaf here. Then we have them developing within a hydroponic system. So we can see the roots and we do see them identified right here. And then within the soil of the rice plant, like here and here, uh, these rice root aphids, I should say, of the cannabis plant, appear in the lighter and lower portion of the picture, which can be difficult initially to see uh, and do require that attention to detail. This is also kind of highlighted here, what they look like, kind of mixed in with the substrate that the cannabis plants are growing in. So again, identification, clearly um, evident, but can be a little more difficult because of their size. So careful inspection and scouting is important. So how do you go about managing them if you do identify them? Well, root aphid management is uh, especially challenging in organic systems. Study was conducted, at least in celery, so it's something, to evaluate the effectiveness of certain products applied via drip irrigation drench. Evaluations were pre-treatment, post-treatment one, which is application 13 days after the treatment, and post, -applica post two application 10 days after the first treatment. Let's take a look at their data. So this was their results, and uh, they determined that when uh, the overall change in aphid populations after both applications compared to the pretreatment numbers was considered, there was, and we can see the results here, untreated over here, 3% reduction in untreated control, 24-18 and 129% increase in So let's look at their data. Well, these were the results, and when the overall change in aphid populations after both applications compared to the pretreatment numbers were considered, there was a 3% reduction in untreated controls. We see those listed right here. 24, 18, and 29% increase in these three listed products, uh, respectively. However, Myotrol uh, oh, along with uh, as a guard provided 62% reduction in aphid populations, followed by a 29% reduction in Grandivo and 24 by Venerate. This study demonstrates the potential for non-chemical options when managing aphid populations, at least in organic celery. These microbial pesticides, especially in combination with botanical pesticides, can play a significant role in pest management. Understanding the modes of action and different options and using the right combinations is critical to pest management decisions. So trying to find data like this, while not in cannabis, can at least provide a good starting point. And for all the products we see, again, the first one is the pretreatment, post-treatment one, and post-treatment two, looking at uh, mean number of aphids per plant. We can see how the changes occurred. And again, utilizing a combination definitely showed a pretty significant here uh, reduction. So again, worth considering, and at least a starting point if you're looking at what products may be uh, effective if you do identify root aphids in your cannabis crops.